Hello everyone. Welcome to another Watercolor Wednesday. I've got another great project for you. Uh, we're going to continue on with the lighthouse theme. I absolutely love this set and I think, I don't know, I could do a lot of weeks on it and never run out of ideas. So uh, I want to do a couple more weeks of this, um, of this set of lighthouses. Uh, this time we're going to do a tropical one. Let me show you what our project is. So it is this one right here. We're gonna do this little tropical version. Super fun and super easy to do. It doesn't take a lot of stamps um, as usual. A lot of projects that we do just take a few, a few sets. And um, that's the fun of it, to see how many different things we can create with, you know, with these little sets. So um, in this case, we're gonna do the lighthouse. We're gonna do the tropical one. And even though this is a recording, I do value your comments and I will go back and answer your questions. So be sure to leave a comment. I will be giving this one away. So if you would like to have it, please let me know that in the comments and we will choose a winner and you may just end up with this little lighthouse. So please feel free to do that. Okay, like I said, leave me your questions, leave me your comments. We will go back through it even though this is a recording and I hope you will give this little project a try. It's it's so fun. Okay, everyone, here we go. And this is this week's project. It's this little tropical lighthouse. So in the lighthouse set, it's this little guy right here. So it's the smallest one, this one right here, but it's really, really versatile. And it's really a, a neat one to put in the background like this. So we've got our foreground going on here. And then in the background, we've got our little lighthouse. So this one right here, we're gonna be using. Uh, in addition, we're going to use one of the cliff sets and that is this one right here. Now you could, you know, put that lighthouse over on the other side if you want to. You could use this cliff. Um, any of these little cliffs are going to work um, with the lighthouse. So we're going to use this one right here. And then in the mini foliage set, this one. So we're going to add that foliage right back in here um, behind this little lighthouse. We're going to use this, this little stamp right here. Uh, also, the flower set, so the um, the filler flower, this one right here, the Daisy Bunch, we're going to use that. And then we're going to use one of these new flower sets. I have not used these in a, in a tutorial, uh, but I've been really excited to start using these. And now that, you know, Christmas is over, holidays are over, we're going to start using some more florals. So uh, in, this, in this case, we're going to use this one and this one. This is a right and a left as they bend. So this one that's going over on this side and then the other one right here that's on the side. So those two. And then in the um, in the Bible journaling, Bible foliage set two, we're gonna use one of these um, little um, ferns, little fern boughs right here. We're gonna use those. And then uh, the seagull set, we're gonna use these little flying, the little flying seagulls. Okay, so we are going to be ready to go with this project. Uh, I think you will really love it. It's really fun. I'm, let me just zoom in a little bit here so that I can get up closer. And you can see this up close. So the first thing we're going to do is block off our, um, our little square. This one happens to be two and a half inches. So what I have done, what I usually do, is cut a square that's two and a half inches, just like this, and then trace around it. So I've got my, my pencil. And I just leave these little squares in my toolbox so that I can grab them and, you know, just, just number them so that you can tell, you know, what the size is. I just put the two and a half on mine so I know what size it is. And then I just trace around it like that. It's just the easiest way to make a perfect square. So now I'm going to use my post-it tape, this one, and I'm just going to block off the outside so that I'm protecting uh, the outside of the square and I'm not going to be stamping off and outside of the lines. This is another thing that should be in your toolbox, you guys, some post-it tape. This is the best stuff and it just, it's so great because you can use it over and over again. Um, okay, so now I've protected the outside. And the reason I do that is so that we've got this little white border around here. I think it just looks better to do that. You don't have to. You could cut it right along the edge if you want to. But we do want to protect the rest of um, the rest of our paper. So we just want to keep everything in the center. So let's move everything aside here. 
and let's get going on our project. So we're gonna start out by stamping in the cliff and the lighthouse. Those are gonna go in the background. So I've just got it on a little block like this and I am going to need to stamp it off. So let me grab some um, scrap paper here. And I'm going to ink this in several colors. So the very bottom down here, I'm going to ink in the blue and then I'm gonna uh, follow that up with the brown and then over the whole thing, I'm going to add the green. So let me just show you what I mean. I'm gonna go over it with the blue, just this area here where uh, it's showing the side of the cliff. And then over that blue, we're gonna go, we're gonna add the brown. And then over that whole thing now, this back here and everything, we're gonna add the green, just kind of over everything. And then we're going to stamp it off because we don't want it too dark. And then we're going to stamp it on. And I've, I've got it kind of stamped right on the edge here. So I would say it's probably stamped down here about uh, maybe a half inch from the top. So just like that, you don't want to press too hard because you know, when things are in the background like this, they're very light. So you're not going to see really dark, definite lines. Um, we're going to see things that are mostly faded out. And especially when it's tropical, it looks more like it's sun bleached. So uh, it's lighter colors, sun bleached out white, you know, the sun is shining so it's brighter and it's not those really dark, dark uh, images. So that's why we don't wanna stamp it too dark. So now that we've got that in, let's add our little, um, our little lighthouse here. And you know, these are clear so you can, you can really see where they're going. So you don't really need to have a, a positioner unless you wanna be absolutely sure. Uh, one thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use my eraser and I'm just going to take off a little bit of this edge. Um, this is my little sand eraser and it just works really well um, to erase watercolor lines. So I just, I took a little bit of this off because I want to stamp this over the top and just down a little bit. Now you can do that before you stamp it. You know, so before you stamp this, you can just take your thumb and just rub it off a little bit. You can do that too. But I do it, I did it this way because I want to see exactly where that line is so that I can place my little um, lighthouse on there. Okay, so this one, we're also going to stamp off. We don't want this too dark. So we're going to use the two colors again, the dark blue. And this is the 565 and the dark brown, which is the 969. And we're going to go right over the top of that. And we're going to stamp it off for sure. We're going to do that. It would be way too dark um, not to do that. So now I'm just going to position it here, make sure that it's straight, just like that. Okay, so now we've got this on our little, um, got our little lighthouse on the cliff here, and it's kind of looking over the edge. That's just perfect. And we're going to now start pulling some of the color out of the lines. So I'm using my tiny little brush, my little, little brush. This is my number one. And I just, I wanna be really careful about how much color I pull out of the lines. This is going to be very light into the background. So I just wanna pull out a little bit of color and down in here also. pull some of this color out some of this now you can see I kind of stamped over the top of that cliff you know in this section it's I can kind of blend that out because this isn't as light as the lighthouse itself and then we can really blend this one out here now we can just add some more color in here too so let's do that I'm going to take my palette and I'm just going to add a little of this brown say brown 969 and I'm just going to take a little bit of this brown and add it to uh, the little roof here. And then I'm just going to continue to pull this, this color out of the lines here of this little, the little lighthouse. Just keep it really light. So I'm going to add a little blue now from my palette and just add a little shadow here along the side. This would be kind of back into the shaded area. So we're just going to add a little bit of this. Just keep it really light. 
And then let's add our window details in. So I'm gonna use my twin tone and I'm just going to color these, these little windows. And even though they're tiny, you can still get a bit of a detail in there. And then these we can just, just color in dark. Get these little chimneys in here. Okay, that looks pretty good. So let's keep going here. I'm going to just continue to use my little brush and I'm just going to pull this, this green color out um, right along the edge here. Just drag some of that color out. Just along the edge, along the edge of this clip. Keep this really light. And then down along here, we're just gonna pull out the color from the lines. And you should be able to see that, that mix of color. We've got some brown going on, we've got the blue. So we've got a really nice mix of color. And this, this little cliff, I mean, it's, it's, got, it's got green in it because it's, this is a tropical scene. So these cliffs are really lush and green. And we can add just a little bit more of this brown. This, these little, this little number one brush, it's just so great for detail like this because you don't want to get too much color on here. Just a little bit. And it should be just really light. I'm just going to add a little green now underneath. Got a bit of an overhang here, so we're going to see a little bit of a shadow. Okay, that looks pretty good. <clears throat> so let's get our foliage in. So we're gonna use this little guy right here. And obviously we don't need the whole thing. That would just be way too much. So we're just gonna do the corner and I'm just going to kind of stamp it in here like this. And then just get a little bit right here out in front. And then just, you know, add the water. Just do what we do, stamp it and add the water to it. And just kind of blend it all out. And we can just kind of pull this, this line down, you know, underneath, underneath this, um, this little, you know, structure. Just put a little overhang in here. And actually we can just probably put a little detail in the roof. And a little bit up in there. Okay, it's coming together you guys. That looks pretty good. So I'm just going to take my little twin tone and just really darken, you know, where this kind of comes in. and create a little more definition there. So that looks pretty good. I think we're getting it. Let me hold this up so that you can really see it. It's kind of small, so it's gonna be in the background. Okay, so now let's go on and we're gonna add some trees back in here, but let's do our foreground first. Um, the first thing I wanna do is I wanna kind of pencil in my horizon line. And you know, it's a, it's a good idea to just take a ruler and do this because you wanna get this line straight. It's really, really important that your, um, your water is, your water line is straight. So I'm just going to put that line in just like that. So I get an idea of where the water is going. And we're going to put the foreground in, but before we do, we're going to add our water in here and keep it really light. So you can see that um, the water is darker up in this area. And as it comes down, it's really light and almost disappears down here at the end. So we don't wanna to add too much in here and we can always go back and add a little um, bit of that color later. So we're just gonna concentrate on keeping it in this area for now. So I'm gonna mix some color here. I'm gonna mix this light blue. This is the 526. And I'm gonna add a little bit of green to it. 
and then a little bit of this tropical. So this is the 296. It's kind of a tropical uh, green. And you know, just play around with this because you can you can try this out on a on a you know extra piece of paper and just see if it's too green or too blue. You can add a little more to kind of make it that tropical um, kind of bluish green color. That looks pretty good there. So we're going to put this on now, and you you want to uh, just be sure to um, you know leave some white areas. You know wherever you have white showing that really kind of means that the light is catching there and uh, there's movement. I just put a little more green in here. That just seems really blue. So you wanna just really keep um, those, that white, those white areas and just kind of leave those white spaces. And you know, as we come down, we're just gonna keep that really, really light. Cause we're gonna put all this, you know, foliage in here. And then, you know, in here, you know, where these little areas are, where the water kind of goes in to these little coves, you can make that a little bit darker. And then let's go ahead while we're doing this and just put the sky in. So I'm gonna take some more of that warm blue. This is the 526. And I'm just gonna take some of this and just put some sky in. And you just, you wanna just kind of push it around. You know, I always, I never bring the sky all the way down to the um, to the horizon line because I like to see that, um, that cloud line there. It kind of creates this look um, like there's a cloud line there and I just, I think it gives it more dimension. I'll be careful that you don't get into your lighthouse um, don't get that blue into here because it will, it really will bleed out. And then we can go just a little bit darker in here as well. And I'm just, I'm going to take a little bit of this blue now and just add it to this little lighthouse, like a reflection. Just a little bit of this really light blue. I think that will just... Um, at a time. And then let's just put a little um, blue into these, this glass here. Okay, that looks pretty good. I think we're, we're uh, doing good here. So I'm going to now do this uh, foreground area. Now, you know, really the sky's the limit. Once you get this into the background, there's so many things that you could do in here. Uh, you could put some sand in, uh, you know, a little... Um, you know, some grasses and just keep it really, really simple. Uh, I'm just going to show you one option. I'm just, we're just doing this little tropical one, but there are so many ways now that you could complete this little composition. So let's start out by uh, just cleaning off. I think I had, I'm not sure what color I had on here. So I just want to make sure that I'm cleaning that off um, with my thumb, but you can use a, you can use a baby wipe as well. So I've got that cleaned off. And now I'm going to use something bright like this orange and just add some of this into the background. Just kind of, you know, wherever um, you want to put this. Here, that was the 933, the orange. So I'm just going to use a baby wipe and just clean this off really good because I'm gonna jump to blue now and I want a bright blue. I want something really bright. So I'm gonna use the same bright blue, this 526, and just clean that off. And then just kind of fill in a little more in this area here. Maybe a little bit down in here and up in here. So now once I've got that done, I can just take my brush and just soften this all up. Just do the light colors, you know, we do the light colors first, do the orange first, and then if it gets into the blue, that's okay. Or into the into the watercolor, that's okay. And then add some water now to the blue. 
I just really love these colors together. And you know, just, just blend it all out. You know, the more that you do that, the softer it's gonna get and give you that kind of that whimsical look. Okay, so now that that's done, we're going to take our little, um, our little fern here. This could be a palm or a fern. I mean, there's so many uses for this. It's sort of a generic leaf, but it can be both. So I'm just going to ink, you know, part of it. I don't need this down here, the stem. And I'm just going to kind of put this in here. This is what makes it look uh, tropical when you get these in. And then just maybe a couple more on the side. And these don't need a lot of water. So you're just gonna kind of touch those little leaves. We wanna see the definition of this. This is, like I said, this is what makes it look tropical uh, are these little ferns or palms. So you just, you really kind of don't wanna add too much water and blend them out too much. And you can see why we kept that really light coming down so that we have room to stamp in all these really bright colors. So let's go on now to our flowers. And we're going to, let's start out with this one. And I'm going to, I'm gonna stamp it on the side and I'm actually gonna bring it up here so that I can get it into this light area. So I'm just using a red. This is the, the 856 red and just inking the bloom and the little bud. And you can use any, any of the greens. And then let's do another one. Actually, let's just do this one again. And let's just put this one out here. And I'm, I'm gonna switch back to my tiny little brush. But you can see how vibrant these colors are, especially if you can get them stamped into a really light, light area. They just really pop. And I think maybe just one more. Just in this little opening right here. And just stamp it and add water to it. That's it. That's all we do. Okay, that looks pretty good. So now I'm going to uh, clean this off with my baby wipe. I'm gonna clean this off really good. Make sure I get all of that red off of there. And we're gonna create our little palm trees in the back. And we're gonna use this little this little flower because we don't we don't have a palm tree that's small enough. And so we're gonna kind of create our own and we're gonna do that with this little flower. So I'm gonna use my positioner. So like this and use my little, my little acrylic plate. Now I'm gonna turn this upside down. So I'm going to ink it with the green and I'm going to stamp it upside down on my acrylic plate. And then I can kind of see, you know, exactly where I want it to go. And I'm going to just kind of lean it over a little bit. So I'm going to stamp it right here. And I'm going to ink it again just to make sure it's dark enough. And just turn it upside down. Like that. And I'm going to do one more. Maybe right here. I can just hop on this one. Okay, so we've got our little, the little tops of our, of our uh, palm trees. And I'm just going to add some water to them. And you can, you know, if you add a little, you know, an extra little thing on here, you can make them look different so that they don't look like the same. So we can just add some dark. A little bit of dark in here and 
Maybe change the shape of one of them a little bit. And now we're just gonna draw in the tree trunks. And we're gonna do that with, with the twin tone, the brown. And you know, palm trees, they kind of, they don't really grow straight up for the most part. Uh, they kind of bend. So we're just gonna do that. We're just gonna bend them down like this and kind of put them in the trees, just like that. And don't worry, don't stress out about that. That is just, that is just the easiest thing to do. And you know, if it's not perfect, it's okay. We don't care. All right, so we've got our little trees in the background. So I think the only thing left to do is add our little seagulls, these little guys. And I kind of want these to be really light in the background, so I don't want to ink them with too dark of a color. So I'm using um, I'm using kind of a, a neutral. This is an N79. And I'm just going to stamp them in here, just like that. And just add a little bit of water to them. And there we go. Let's do the big reveal, you guys. Let's take all of this off. And we're going to erase the lines now, now that everything is dry. Just take that all off of there. And you can see how cute this is. Little lighthouse in the background. And I'm going to now, of course, sign and date. There we go. We are good to go. There is our little painting already finished. I hope you guys will give this one a try. Uh, I love these little lighthouses. You could also put something else up here. So, you know, if you want to change it up and put a little um, tropical shack up there, a little house or a little cabin up on this little um this little cliff that would be so cute too you could change out the color of the water and make it cooler and you could do a little cabin up there and do something different in the foreground so there's lots and lots of ways that you can use this combination with these florals in the foreground so i hope you guys will give this a try thanks so much for being with me today i appreciate it so much and i will be back next week next wednesday with another watercolor tutorial